So welcome to <clears throat> today's lesson and today we are going to talk about the Poisson distribution and the Poisson distribution happens to be a discrete random distribution and in this video we will try to make the Poisson as simple as possible for you all right so don't worry and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. I'm Boido Ken Rindolph, a third year student of mathematics, KNUST. So when you talk about the Poisson distribution, the Poisson distribution provides a good model for a discrete random variable, which results from an experiment called Poisson distribution. So I didn't include that in the nodes, but some examples of Poisson distributions are the number of industrial accidents during a given period of time, the number of loss or defects on a squared meter piece of material, the number of radioactive or particles that decayed or emitted in a particle in a given period of time. So that means with our Poisson distribution, we just consider something, the number of something happening in a given period of time, volume, or space. So, the Poisson distribution for the random variable x, note that the random variable x is discrete, representing the number of occurrence of an event in a given interval of time, space, or volume is defined by, so, is defined by the probability of x here is equal to mu of x. So mu raised to the power x, then e raised to the power negative mu over x factorial. Where remember we said s is discrete, so that means s takes um discrete variable. So s takes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. And our mu here, which is the mean is always greater than zero it can never be negative and it is not zero too so it's always positive so the mean and the variance are also the same so in a Poisson distribution note that the mean is the same as the variance and that's the unique property about the Poisson distribution so the expectation of x which is the mean of x is equal to mu and the variance of x is also equal to mu and the distribution of x may simply be denoted as x so what you can see here probability of mu so i hope you've understood everything we've done so far so let's try to solve some examples on a Poisson distribution so example the number of telephone calls received by an office averages four per minute All right so averages four per minute so that means in this question our mu the average is going to be four per every minute so the question says you should find the probability that i no call will arrive in a given one minute period i i at least Two calls will arrive in a given one minute period, and I, 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 at least three calls will arrive in a given two minutes period. So we are supposed to find these three things from the question which was given to us. So I want you to know that from the question, the random variable x is the number of telephone calls received. And it has an average of 4. So that means that our mu is equal to 4, as I said, per minute. 4 per minute. So the per minute is very important. So that means an average of 4 call every minute. So recall that from here, we said the formula for finding the probability of our Poisson distribution is probability of x equals mu x, then e raised to the power negative mu x factorial. So since our mu is 4 in this question, that means that the Poisson distribution will be giving us probability of x will be equal to, so instead of the mu, we put 4 there. So 4 raised to the power x, 
e raised to the power negative 4 over x factorial. Then because s is discrete, s takes values 0, 1, 2, up to n, where n is a natural number. So the first question says, find the probability that no call will arrive in a given one minute period. So no call means that in this case, our x is worth zero because nothing is happening. So no call means our x is zero. That's the reason we have probability of x equals zero here. So that means wherever we find x, we will put, so this is the main formula. So wherever we find x, we are going to put zero inside. We are going to get four raised to the power zero, e raised to the power negative four over zero factorial. And note that four raised to the power zero is one, since any number raised to the power zero is one. Also, zero factorial is one. So that means that is going to give us e raised to the power negative four. And when this is punched in the calculator, we get the value 0 0.018316 and this happens to be the probability when there is no call in the given one minute period i hope you understand so let's go to the second question so the quest second question says at least two calls will arrive in a given one minute period at least two calls will arrive in a given one minute period so we have to understand some terminology here so in mathematics or probability and statistics when we say at least what you have to know is that at least stands for greater than or equal to and when you say at most at most stands for less than or equal to right so at least a means a in anything greater than A, and at most A means A and anything lesser than A. So the question says we should find the probability that at least two calls will arrive in a given one minute period. So that means we are finding the probability that our x here is greater than or equal to 2, right? So x being greater than or equal to 2 means that x is equal to 2, 3, 4, up to n. And you realize that we don't know where our x ends. So that means that we can't find for that. So, realize that the probability that s starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to n. And one of the laws in probability is that always the probability of our x is equal to 1. So that means the probability of x taking all these values up to n will be equal to 1. So we are supposed to compute the probability of x starting from 2 to some n, which we don't know. And since the whole of this gives us 1, then that means that we can simply find the probability of 0, the probability of 1, and take it away from 1. And that is going to give us the probability of s being greater than or equal to 2. So that's what you can see here. So the probability of x being greater than or equal to 2 can also be written as 1 minus the probability that s is less than or equal to 1. And x being less than or equal to 1 means s will take values 0 and 1. So we put this inside the formula we've stated earlier on. So wherever we find x, we put 0 there. Here, wherever we find x, we put 1 there. And you realize that this and this gives us 1. So you are going to get e minus 4. 1 factorial is 1, but 4 raised to the power 1 is 4. So this is going to give us 4 e raised to the power negative 4. And when we do this computation, we are going to get e minus 4 plus 4 e minus 4, which gives us 5 e minus 4. And when you take it away from 1, you are going to get the probability 0 0.908422. And that happens to be the probability that at least two calls are going to arrive in the given one minute period. I hope that is understood. So let's move on to our third question. So the third question says at least three calls will arrive in a given two minute period. At least three calls will arrive in a given two minute period. 
So what I want you to know is that we are looking for at least 3. So that means our S is going to be greater than or equal to 3. And one thing you have to know is that our mean here was given as 4 per minute. So since we are considering 2 minutes in this case, that means our mu will no more be 4. But it will be 4 times 2, which will be 8. Because it was 4 in 1 minute, so in 2 minutes it is going to be 8. So I want you to know that difference. So let's have our third question. So that means for our third question, our mu will be 4 times 2, which will be equal to 8. Cause receive in 2 minutes. The other ones were just for because we are talking about just a minute, per minute. So this is going to be 2 minutes, so 2 times 4, which is 8. So the probability that our x is greater than or equal to 3 will be equal to 1 minus probability that our x is less than or equal to 2. So that means that our s is going to take 0, 1, and 2. And note that in the previous example, I explained the reason why when it is at least, we send it to at most. So this is going to be what we have here. We are just going to put this inside our formula. So remember now our mu is 8 and no more 4. So that's the reason we have 8 raised to the power 0 here. And we also have minus 8 here. So when you put it inside the formula, you're going to get whatever is here. And when you make this computation, you're going to end up with e minus 8 plus 8 minus 8 plus 32 e minus 8. When you sum this, you get this. When you take it away from 1, that is going to give you the probability 0 0.986246. So that's it with the question. And I hope you've realized that it is very very simple so i would like to give you a trial work to be able to evaluate yourself and know that you understand what you've done or not so the trial question reads the number of serious accidents why in a manufacturing plant has approximately a poisson distribution with mean I'm just giving the important parameters with mean 1.5 accidents per month. So let me read the question again. The number of serious accidents, why, in a manufacturing plant has approximately a Poisson distribution with mean 1.5 accidents per month. What is the probability that I more than three accidents will occur so that means probability of y being greater than or equal to three so and i i fewer than three accidents will occur so three or fewer than that will occur let's put it that way so then probability that y is less than or equal to three so you are supposed to find for these two probabilities. So, thank you very much.